Climbing Daily has been to Fairhead, Northern Ireland, to film at the climbing festival that took place there last weekend. We were setting off to film another route when Alex Honnold started soloing a huge and intimidating E86B directly below us, the complete scream. What followed was 16 minutes of the most gripping climbing we've ever witnessed. So Alex, yesterday you climbed Complete Scream. <laughs> Why did you decide to do that route? Um, well, honestly, I did it because there was a wrap line down mm -hmm. and, and my partner got tired and I was looking for something to do, so I mini traction at once. Yeah. Um, you know, worked it on a rope by myself, ticked a bunch of holds. Actually, at first I was ticking the gear placements mm -hmm. and they only lasted for the first 10 meters and then the whole rest of the pitch basically didn't have any gear. And so I was like, well, this is stupid. If I'm gonna do it, obviously I'll just solo. And throughout the day, were you thinking in the back of your mind, right, I'm going to go for a layer on, or was it just, I'll see how I feel later? Um, yeah, I was just kind of like, see how I feel. I mean, it was really hot in the sun, and like the wall was really hot, yeah. but then actually I was kind of cold on top because of the cold wind, so I was like, well, even though the rock's hot, at least my skin is kind of cold, and I'll be like, okay for, you know, basically it was just, just one of those things. It's, it's an impressive looking line when you look up at it. Yeah, I mean, the complete screen is a really nice wall, and it's nice that it's just straight up like a 60 meter vertical face. That's not really vertical, but it's just like a nice clean wall. No, there, there were no like big moments of doubt or panic or anything. There were a couple places where like I couldn't quite reach a hold, so I had to rearrange my feet or, you know, I couldn't remember exactly what I was going to do. I mean, but there was nothing that was like terrifying. It just sometimes you just have to figure it out a little bit. Does something sort of click inside you when you're looking at your face like that and you're about to set off on a solo? Does something in you just go, okay, yeah, now's the time? Or do you not think about it that much? Um, I thought about it a little bit. I mean, yeah, I definitely had to, to sort of commit at the bottom, like, okay, it's game time. Like, here we go. Like last year, Pete Whitaker turned up and he on-sighted it, but with gear. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that as a sort of a method or, or is, in your mind, does your way make more sense to sort of turn up? Oh, no, I mean, I could see, to... if I was going to on-site something like that, I mean, I'd probably want a rope and a rack, mm -hmm. I guess, too. It's hard to say, because on-site soloing something like that would be like kind of full on, or it would be more of a process, because you'd kind of want to go up and down and suss some things out and just like, it would be a lot slower and longer. And the thing about going, on-site soloing on that is it'd be really scary about the route finding like mm -hmm. you'd constantly be in the back of your mind and be like I wonder if I'm on route whereas like with the rope you're kind of like well as long as I can find some gear at some point then at least I could like potentially rescue myself or whatever you know. What got me about looking at that because I was at the bottom watching you do it um, mm -hmm. is I found it honestly I found it quite scary to watch you I actually had to walk yeah, away. Yeah but walk watching away. soloing is always way more scarier than doing soloing yeah. I mean I find the same thing if I watch somebody I'm sure if I watch somebody soloing that face I'd be like I'm not into this and yeah, I would just yeah, like yeah. leave and like let them do their thing. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not something that's like fun to watch. Yeah. I think it's scarier to watch that kind of stuff, to see someone like going up and down and figuring something out and hitting the holds. Like, I mean, it's scary to see that, but like when you're doing it, it feels totally fine. And honestly, hitting all the holds and double checking was more just like to be absolutely certain. You know, I mean, I probably could have just climbed it and there was like some chalk on it and somebody just climbed it earlier. So I'm like, it's not that bad, but you know, better safe than sorry. I haven't seen something like that before, so for me it was an experience. And I think you could tell just because the amount of people at the top of that crag hushed I know, was, watching was, you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> at one point I looked up and right and saw there were like 30 people standing there watching and everyone's silent and everyone's like, oh. Yeah. And I was like, oh, ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> just focus on. It's a bit like a church, you know, it was just like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of crazy. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was awesome to watch, so um, oh, yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. If you're interested in seeing the full, unedited footage of Alex soloing the complete scream, check out the link below. We're going to be bringing you more footage from Fairhead and a full interview with Alex coming soon. So stay tuned for Climbing Daily for more.